If I asked you right now to tell me, what have you learned this week? In books, audio books, podcasts, how do you think that you would do? How fast would you be able to start spitting what you learned this week? In my phone, I keep always um, what I'm reading, what I'm learning, notes on whatever that book is. So if you were to ask me right now, spit to me what you what you learned this week, I could, within 20 seconds, I could get off this screen, jump on to what I've been reading, and start spitting out notes to you guys. That's where I want you to be. I want you to be able to be spot checked. I want you to be able to be spot checked to where it's like, Back in the day in football, if you fumbled a lot, they would make you carry your football around all the time. And if somebody was able to strip that ball out of your hands, then, then you would get in trouble. I, I want to be able to have you toting this around. Take your take your take your ball around with you. And if I check you, hey, give me give me what you give me what you learned this week. Give me what you written, what you're reading, what you're digging into. It's so important for you to develop yourself constantly in order to develop others. I mean, literally, it's the number one thing. Maurice was on the Today Show on Monday. And in New York, and the biggest thing that I got and that he get, that he been putting on his social media is when he was in prison for four years. The number one thing that changed his life was reading books. He got me to read more books. He get out, we get linked back up. He got me to read more books because he's telling me I'm doing a book a week and I'm competitive. So he's telling me he's reading a book a week. And I'm like, I was doing one a month. Like, I ain't about to let this dude smash me. So, I gotta step my game up. Books will change your life, though. I'm telling you. Pouring into your mind. Podcasts, books, all of that stuff will literally change your life. Always cast vision. Always cast vision to people. You gotta be casting vision constantly on where your team's gonna be three months from today, where this individual's gonna be three months from today, where they're gonna be 12 months from today, 24 months from today. Who thinks they know why? Like the biggest reason why you wanna be able to, to, to cast vision to people all the time. Why do you think it's important? Without vision, people perish. Without vision, people perish. What else? <clears throat> it just makes it more tangible for them to like know exactly what you have in store with them, so they feel a part of your own vision. Yep, so they feel a part of the vision, tangible. I, I think one of the big reasons is to accomplish anything great in life, you gotta do some shit that sucks. Like the fundamentals aren't fun, you hear me say that all the time, like the fundamentals aren't fun. Repetition of shit, day in and day out of some of the, th it's, just not, it's just not fun, it's just not what people wanna do. Like I, I've just been, brainwashing my goddaughter Amaya that it doesn't matter if you don't feel like doing it. Like the world don't pay you for what you feel like doing. The world don't pay you for what you want to do. The world pays you for what you need to do. What do I need to do right now? And a lot of times what you need to do isn't what you want to do and what you want to do isn't what you need to do. And so the way that I can get my team grasping the necessary sacrifices today the sacrifice that leads them to paradise in 24 months is by understanding the vision of why you're doing this. In order to be in the pool on a Tuesday, Wednesday, 24 months from today, I need you to be door knocking today in the cold. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it ain't always gonna be this way, dog. Like, this dude went to prison for four years. I'm just saying you just gotta door knock and get back in the car. That ain't that hard. You know what I mean? Like we, we, so this is what we do. We got to cast vision constantly because typically what you need to do up front sucks. And if you do some of the stuff that sucks, you get success. But you can't get success if you don't do the shit that sucks. Everybody wants to eat what tastes good. I'm drinking vegetable juice. I just want the results. Usually what I want ain't what I need. And then win the day, win the day, win today. One day at a time, you can't control tomorrow. What can you do today to not waste a day? What things do you need to do today 
What's the number one thing on your checklist that you're like, I gotta accomplish this today. I gotta get this done. What's number two? What's number three? And you gotta execute those one, two, three priorities because those 80% priorities are gonna pull you 20% of what you do brings you 80% of the results. 80% of what you do only gives you 20% of the results. All right? I appreciate you guys. I love you. I right? appreciate everything that you do. Let's tear it up this month. All right? Thank you. Yep.